In just a month, Slovenia will host the European Basketball Championships. Spain will be defending its title, while France, beaten in the final two years ago, will be hoping to take its revenge. France, who will face Ukraine, Great Britain, Germany, Israel and Belgium in the first round, will once again rely on their star player, Tony Parker. Triple NBA champion with the San Antonio Spurs, voted the best player at the finals in 2007 and selected five times for the All-Star game. Parker has won everything at club level, but is still waiting for the ultimate accolade with the French national team. And in a talk with Euronews, he discusses what he expects from the European Championships, the opponents he fears, and his career in the NBA. Tony Parker, you Tony Parker, you're one of the players who has played the most games this season. How do you feel at the beginning of the preparation for the European Championships to be held in Slovenia next month? OK, I feel good. The coach has prepared a programme for me that is designed so that I don't get too tired too early. The important thing is to be on form for September the 4th for the first game. So I'll go slowly to get back into shape and be at 100% for the first match. It said France has had a nice draw. That's true. This is different from what happened two years ago when our opening group was very strong. It's a nicer group, but we know very well that in a European Championship all the teams are dangerous. Two years ago the French team lost the final to Spain. This year is the gold the gold medal and only the gold medal. No, I don't think we're favourites this year because we have a lot of players missing. I think this year we can try and create a surprise. We're a team that is quite young. We have a lot of new players, lots of guys who are appearing for the first time. Therefore, we do have to get to know each other. I must play the role of the older brother and see what can happen. But we don't have the same team as two years ago. Who are the favourites? The favourites are always the Spanish. Slovenia will also be very, very strong at home. The Serbs will also be very, very good. You have many missing in the centre with Noah, Turiaf, Mahimi and even Traore. Do you think France could win the European Championships without having a commanding centre? Uh, it's true, it's a shame they don't play, but I respect their decision. There's no problems. So now we need to focus on what we have, and Alexei Ajansa has made a lot of progress. This is the big surprise for me personally. He is a different player from the one I first saw in 2009. So we'll see how it's going to work. Geoffrey Lovain is a very good young player. He plays with lots of energy, therefore we must see what he can give in the matches. The Spaniards have lots of players missing too. Is it a good year to finally beat them? They are strong anyway. You don't have bad players that come in. Spain has anyway Marc Gasol, Rubio, Calderon. You still have a big team, so we'll see. Spain is your bogey team a bit. They beat you in the European Championships and the London Olympics. What is the key to finally pushing them off their pedestal? I think we need to continue to progress. It's true that we are not far away. I feel that every year we progress. We become a better team, so I hope this year will be good. You have won everything at club level. You have been the NBA champion three times. What's missing? A major title with France? Oh yeah, for sure. When we won a bronze medal in 2005, it was the first time France had won a medal in 50 years. In 2011, we got the best result by getting to the final. So now is the last stage, which is always the hardest. So we'll try. It will not be easy, but we'll try. You are very attached to the blue shirt of France. Do you want to carry on until Rio in 2016? Yeah, I'll play until 2016. I still take pleasure from playing with the French team. You're one of the most popular sportsmen in France, yet you work in the United States. How do you explain this incredible popularity? Well, I'm here three months a year. I have a strong attachment to the French team. I'm very proud to play for the blue shirt. 
I think through my involvement with Asvel Basketball Club in Lyon, my involvement with the French team and the different commercials I do, I think that's how you explain it. And my basketball camps too. Each year, I see around 530 youngsters. Last spring, you fought and lost the NBA Finals against the Miami Heat. Have you got over this disappointment? No, I don't think I could ever get over a defeat like that. It is clear that this was difficult, but now I must move on and I must focus on the French team. It is said Spurs are an ageing team. Is this the last chance for you to win an NBA title with this generation? It's you journalists that like to say this. We're concentrated each year. We feel we have a good chance to go through and the next year it will be the same for us.